Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 41 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, now we are going to begin the fifth stage of Gatning's Musu mode, so let's get to it. The Shu army has encamped on the banks of Changjiang. It's time. Spread the word. At midnight, we move to the river to face the Shu army. Yes. This battle shall surely decide the fate of Shu and Wu. Alright, here we are at the Battle of Yiling, and we've had this stage before as both Shu and Wu at least more than once. I still only have a second weapon though, so it might be a bit difficult getting through this mission. So, the conditions. We have to defeat Liu Bei to win, and as Sun Quan is defeated, if I die, run out of time, we lose. And we have 90 minutes on this huge map. The unit info. For the Wu forces, we have Sun Quan with Zhu Huan and Gan Ning, which is me. Zhou Yu with Zhou Tai and Zhang Qin. Lu Xun with Han Dong. Sun Shang Xiang with Ling Tong. Lu Mong with Xu Shang and Pan Zhang. And Chang Pu with Ding Fong. For the Shu forces, we have Liu Bei with Guan Xing and Zhang Bao. Guan Yu with Ma Dai and Guan Suo. Weirdly enough, I thought Guan Yu died in the previous mission. Unless they just showed him defeated rather than dead. I kind of forgot because it's been like a little while since I recorded the last episode, but anyway. We also have Zhao Yun, Wang Zhang with Yan Yan, Wei Yan, and Wang Xuan with Shamo. Alright, the intro. Wu's reinforcements headed for Fan Castle, defeat Guan Yu, and manage to reclaim Fan Castle. Thanks to this victory, Wu is able to retake the Jing province. Previously, Wu had joined forces with Shu in order to oppose Wei, but relations sour as Wu plots to take back the Jing province. Infuriated, Lu Bei refuses to return the province and readies his troops for war. The Shu army takes its position at Yi Ling, the length of their forces reaching over 700 miles in length. The Wu strategist Lu Zun earnestly waits for an opportunity and in the year 222, gives the order to go to war. All right, let's get to it. We will end this feud with Shu now. The entire army will follow Lu Jun's lead. Alright, usually it's a bad idea to go after a playable character right away, but we might as well defeat Wei Yan right now. Okay, I will use all that I know. Of course, everybody is everywhere, so it's gonna be very hard to uh, pinpoint Wei Yan from everyone else. It's almost like Where's Waldo of Dynasty Warriors? Only that Wei Yan is very different from everyone else, but uh, it's still very confusing regardless. So, they've joined. Oh. oh, come on. Okay, did someone take my kill or did I get it? I guess that was my kill. That makes me very happy. Alright, time to take out even more units over around the central part of this map. Be, be careful. I think there are some archer towers I gotta worry about. And I'm probably gonna lose all my bodyguards at this rate. That much has not changed. But anyway, here's Guan Qing, so we we'll defeat him next. Because it 
looks like he's trying to head towards where uh, Juron will plan the fire attack. So I'm trying to keep this canyon quite protected. So far, it's going really well. Save for the bodyguards I keep losing. They are very fragile. It's ridiculous. This formation. Master Juge Leon must be there. However, there can be no mercy. Send a message to Zuron's unit. We will burn the Shu army as planned. Hey, where are you going? You gotta fight, dog. Our age is a little bitch. Difficult. I defeated an officer. All right, I'm guessing that this is one of those maps where I'll flinch to every attack because my defense is not being raised high enough. Well, I guess it's more likely to happen if I'm hit from behind. But uh, that tends to happen a lot. Also, this would be a good time to help out Juron. So it looks like there's peeps ready to attack him at a moment's notice. And I would like this fire attack to happen. But anyway, here's Zhang Bao. We'll defeat him next and then take it from there. This would have been so much better if I had a third weapon right now. I could have did my 6 charge. And I don't remember what it does. I defeated an officer. But I imagine it would be pretty cool. Alright, let's just mop these guys up. Ooh, that was a guard captain. My guard bodyguards need help. I guess in a way I did too, but alright. Guards are pushovers. Okay, the fire attack should work now. But I think I should help out uh, Su Shang Xiang's unit. Right now he's fighting Huang Zhong. Who says I'm too old for this? Actually, if I can find Yan Yan instead, I'll go fight him. Might be down here, actually. Yep, there he is. So we'll defeat Yan Yan, and then we'll go fight Wong Chong. So 
them. If I can eliminate most of them, I won't have to worry about the west side being completely bamboozled. Oh, that was very useful. Don't fall behind. I can approach the main camp going this way if I want to. But let's not do that. Instead, I can use this opportunity to just clear out some of these gates. But there's also Ma Liang to fight. What, Pong Shuan got defeated? That's cool, I guess. Kind of needed to take care of that. Oh, Battle Axe? No, that's hell. Oh, that's a Battle Axe! And there's more archers. Guan Suo got defeated. Okay, at this rate, the east side might do just fine. They don't seem to need me. Oh, Maliang decided to attack himself. Beautiful. That means I don't really have to go to him. Oh my god, really? I was in the middle of a combo. And I could have swore my sword attack was going to hit him too. Don't fall behind. Rude! Guys! Thank you. Wait, Guan Yu got defeated? defeated an officer. I'm surprised that Guan Yu himself would fall. This rate, they're probably not gonna have much left. Don't let them through. Not one. Okay, I think I know where I left my horse. I didn't even take it with me into the gate. Impressive! At least I don't think I did. Oh yeah, there it is. Right here. Zhao Yun also got beaten. So really all that's left is Liu Bei with Ling Tong and Wulan, and Zhuge Liang himself. This map will be done real quick, at this rate. But see how I'm here. I might as well try to seal that gate all the way on the other side of the map. The reason why I want to do that is just for extra defense. And also I don't want this video to be way too short. Even though by the time we get over to the southwest, we'll be fighting for a long ass time. Given that it's Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang. If I had to deal with two of them together, I could be in for a rough battle, no matter who I am. Alright, let's go seal that gate, maybe get some extra KOs on the way for more points, and then we'll take it from there. I'm a bit surprised at how well this battle is going. Usually the Battle of Yi Ling is rough on you, because even if you do everything just right, you tend to still lose troops. Maybe because this is only the fifth mission. That's probably it. Oh, Zhu Ron secured the gate that I was planning to seal earlier, but instead I was too busy with Ma Liang, and then I just ignored what I originally meant to do. So, in hindsight, I kind of just forgot. <laughs> I get that because that's why I went this way in the first place. Alright, there we go. I think it's time to go through the Stone Sentinel Maze. Remember, the Stone Sentinel Maze is where the Dim Sum and the Musu Wine are. And I do know what path I should take in order to get through the maze without much difficulty. It's like once you get in, you pretty much just go to go around, like, the outer perimeter clockwise. And when you do that, you can still go through the same path without much obstruction and get through the end of the maze. Plain and simple. And remember, once you get in, the music stops, and you don't have a map. However, you can still pause and see where your position is. 
luckily for me, Lei Tong is also here. I missed. I defeated an officer. Okay, so when you're fighting in here, it gets pretty creepy, but I like it. We must not lag behind. Alright, well, I'll ignore the majority of these troops, except for the ones that actually do knock me off my horse. Huh. This is where we started. Uh, no it ain't. It's definitely not where we started, Gunning. It just looks the same, but it's not the same. I feel like when you're in the Stone Sentinel maze, the camera makes it look like you're used to watching American television, but you're on a British channel. And you can tell the subtle differences when you're watching British TV from American TV. Or Canadian TV. It definitely has a different vibe to it. The real reason I keep slowing down on this damn maze is these crossbow units. There's so many of them in each part of the maze. Might as well take down these jabronis and balonis. I get some health. There we go. That's a little bit better. Not enough, but I'll take what I can get. More arrows. Okay. These guys need to die. And there's probably some in the next square, too. I didn't flinch from that attack? Okay, well, this one I did. But I'll forgive it because it's a guard captain, and thank you for that interception. Want to play in the NFL at some point? I'm pretty sure the uh, Jaguars could use you. And the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> You're a better I mean, the Cleveland Browns are pretty much the butt of many NFL jokes. And for good reason. What way am I facing? Yeah, I'm facing the right direction. Perfect. And to get the Musu wine, you go here. There we go. Oh, that's right. I had I was full at first, and then I realized by picking up the Musu wine, it's not full anymore. I keep forgetting that happens. You just shot me point blank. What the hell? Okay, Lube's morale is at zero. You know what, screw it, I'm not taking the horse with me anymore. Well, I got this advantage, I'm gonna take on Mulan and pretty much kill him. I defeated nice. I half expected myself to miss. Don't fall behind. We can pretty much obliterate Bay right now. His morale is at zero. Damn, this is taking too long. Leave someone for me. Are you talking to? There was nobody there. All right, so let's just clear out a few of these guys. And it looks like there is... Yeah, there's still one more gate. Might as well go get that one sealed, too, to continue giving this video a little bit of body. I don't think I should be worried in this present situation, all things considered. Although, Liu Bei himself is right there. Can I try to get Zhuge Liang over to me? Maybe not at this rate, but... We will okay, fine. In the name of righteousness. I don't have to knock him off my horse. I'll let somebody else do it. I already know what this outcome will be. Then you should be very concerned. Huh. I am more concerned about people with epilepsy, because for a few seconds there, that camera was just very shaky. For 
restoration of the Empire. Okay, this is what I did not want to have happen. Have uh, Liu Bei also aggro. A very full combo, and you got a majority of your health back. Fantastic. Okay, I did not need that, but I'll take it. Dude, I should have blocked. Hey, where are you going? What the frick? Shows her respect. There we go, Juga Leong is down. Now for that gate and probably Liu Bei. I can't believe I was unable to repay Liu Bei's trust. Oh, I do need health though. Maybe I'll have to go all the way over to the gate to find it. Liu Bei still got an ass ton of troops. Am I just gonna have to like do this to charge my way through? Oh god, crossbow units. At this rate, I'm probably gonna lose all the health that I would have hoped to gain by going here in the first place. Unless... Just pick some up right here. It's almost like a firestorm when you do it around this many troops at once. You're too deep. Be careful. That's what she said. Ha! And yeah, let's do this. Okay, I just went away from the crossbow units that I almost hit, and then just backed away so they survived. I'm an idiot. In fact, I might be an idiot just for staying here. Wait, am I whipping in a crowd of shoe soldiers that I mentioned does not hit anyone? I haven't even reached the gate yet. Hopefully I will real soon. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Arrows are flying like crazy still. You know what? 100 health is really good. Until it probably goes gone in the blink of an eye. And so far, it's working out to do just that. You're a better general than I have heard. God. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna try to lure them over here. Because I'm worried I'm gonna kill that gate captain and just knock him off course. And then I wouldn't be able to get the defense off. Considering that as the prize and oh my god. He gained 200 health. That's effectively all his health. still this many guys left Splendid. what do you like about Splenda Lumong <laughs> oh good a battle axe that's just what I need okay there we go we seal the gate let's get a majority of these guys killed God only knows they're gonna be a pain in the ass when I'm ready to fight New Bay. You know, a bigger pain in the ass with these guys right here. They catch on real quick, I must say. They knew to get out of there while the going was still bad for them. 
Bay is all the way over there. So I gotta take into account, he's got a lot of guards. Don't cheap shot me, bro. Okay, if I can get Liu Bei isolated, I'll have an easier time. You know, an emphatic yeah. Easier said than done, when he can really ignore just about everybody else and go straight for me. Oh, don't get any time to block when you're in these combos. Alright, there we go. That's one last guard that'll- Oh, wow! You got an immediate attack right there. Not gonna waste any time, huh? Feeling a little self-righteous there. Well, I'm going to impose my own righteousness on you. Oh, come on. I had a golden opportunity to, like, fight back. And then a guard just out of nowhere just clobbers me. And no. Goodbye. My brothers, I'm sorry to say, but I must break our oath. And there we go, that was a victory for us. Holy crap, it almost got scary in the end. Almost, but I think that was pretty much my best attempt at the Battle of Yi Ling in quite some time. Time-wise, at least. Okay, so everybody but Chong Pu gains his head of morale of eight. That should tell you something. Okay, there we go, we finally got a new weapon, the River Master. Only has an HP max of 1, though. So in terms of stats, that's actually pretty lame. And we didn't get anything good in terms of items. But at least we have a new weapon. Lost a lot of points, though, which is not surprising. And that should get us to class 8. Okay, never mind. We will not get to class 8. But our bodyguards are now fighters. So, we'll save, and I'm going to stop the video right here. So, in the next episode, we will go to stage 6. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.